The Master Thief, A Legacy of Shadows, Legend, Stories for Kids. Today we have a book named The Master, Thief, A Legacy of Shadows, Legend, Stories for Kids. I think they're so pretty. I hope you guys really enjoy it. I love it. Please give this video a like if you enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe for more stories. Thank you, reading. So, here we go. One afternoon, an elderly couple was taking a break outside their modest urban apartment, catching their breath from the day's work. Out of nowhere, a sleek electric car pulled up to the curb, its silent engine a stark contrast to the buzzing city sound. A well-dressed man stepped out, his attire more suited for a corporate boardroom than the humble neighborhood they were in. The old man stood, approached the visitor, and asked how he could assist him. The stranger extended a friendly hand, saying, I'm not here for much, just to satisfy a little craving of mine. I've been yearning for a taste of home-cooked potatoes, simple and rustic, the kind you can't find in fancy restaurants. Would you indulge me? I'd love to join you at your table for a meal. With a chuckle, the old man replied, You must be someone important, a CEO or maybe even a celebrity. Folks like you sometimes seek out these simple pleasures as a break from your world. But sure, your wish is our command. His wife, overhearing the conversation, headed to the kitchen to start on the potatoes, scrubbing them clean and preparing them in the traditional way they always did, boiled and then mashed with a touch of homemade seasoning. Meanwhile, the old man invited the stranger to join him in the small garden plot behind their building. I've got a bit of gardening to do, he explained as they walked. I was about to plant some new herbs and veggies. As they dug into the earth, the stranger inquired, Don't you have any kids to help out with chores like this? The old man sighed, had a son once, but he's long gone into the world on his own term. Bright kid, full of potential, but restless. Didn't care much for learning the ropes or following rules. Eventually, he just took off, and we've lost touch. In the backyard of their small, urban green space, the old man was showing the stranger how to properly plant a sapling. He meticulously positioned it in the ground, secured it with a stake, and tied it at three different heights with biodegradable twine. But why not straighten that twisted, gnarled plant over there? The visitor asked, pointing to a neglected corner of the garden. The old man chuckled. Well, that's a bit like expecting to change set ways in someone who's been doing things their own way for too long. It's old and set in its shape. No amount of tying will straighten it now. Trees, like people, need guidance when they're young. That sounds a lot like the story with your son, the stranger mused, drawing a parallel. If only he had been guided early on, maybe he wouldn't have strayed so far. The old man nodded, his thoughts drifting to his long-lost son. It's been ages since he left. He could be anyone by now. Would you recognize him if he came back? The stranger probed. Maybe not his face, the old man admitted but he has a distinctive birthmark on his shoulder, shaped like a bean. Hearing this, the stranger rolled up his sleeve to reveal his shoulder, displaying the exact birthmark. The revelation hit the old man like a wave. My God, you are my son! Emotion welled up inside him. Yet confusion lingered. But how did you end up like this? living in luxury and dressed like a mogul. How? The son sighed. Life's been a twisted path, Dad. I ended up taking from those who had too much, making sure never to harm those who had little. Call it modern-day Robin Hood, if you will. 
his father was torn. Pride in seeing his son successful battled with the moral implications of his action. A thief is still a thief, son. It's a dangerous line you walk. Bringing their son to his mother, they experienced a whirlwind of emotions, joy, sorrow, pride, and fear. Despite everything, they were a family reunited. As they sat down to a humble meal, reminiscent of old times, the father voiced his fears about the local authorities, hinting at the potential consequences of his son's choices. Undeterred, the son decided to confront his fate head on, driving his electric car to the city's power center to meet with a figure of authority, his godfather, now a prominent judge. The reunion was tense, filled with unspoken threats veiled under the guise of familial bond. The judge, seeking to test the son's skills, laid out three seemingly impossible challenges, each one a test of cunning over brute force. The son accepted, determined to prove his worth not just as a master thief, but as someone capable of outsmarting the system that had deemed him an outcast. The stakes were high, with his very identity and freedom on the line. The master thief needed to blend in unnoticed for his first challenge, stealing the high-security electric car designated for the CEO's personal use, parked within the heavily surveilled corporate compound. He decided on a disguise that would allow him to navigate the space without raising suspicion. Opting for the persona of a food delivery worker, complete with a branded uniform and an insulated food delivery bag, he set his plan into motion. To ensure his disguise was foolproof, he used makeup to add years to his appearance and adopted a posture that suggested a lifetime of laborious work. Inside his delivery bag, instead of food, was a thermos filled with a concoction of his own design, a potent blend that mimicked the smell of rich coffee but was laced with a fast-acting sleep-inducing agent. He also packed a sophisticated electronic device designed to hack and disable security systems without leaving a trace. As night fell, he approached the compound, his steps measured and weary. The security personnel, lulled into a sense of routine, barely gave him a second glance as he made his way to the common area, where some of them were taking their break. Evening, folks. Running late with a delivery and it's been cancelled last minute. Hate to waste good coffee on a cold night. Care for some? He offered, his voice weathered, but kind. The offer was met with appreciation and soon the guards were sipping the coffee, commenting on its richness. As the drug took effect one by one, they slumped into their chairs or onto the floor, a silent slumber enveloping them. With the security personnel incapacitated, the thief moved swiftly. His device made quick work of disabling the remaining security measures, granting him access to the garage where the CEO's prized state of the art electric car awaited. Silently, he approached the vehicle. To avoid any detection from internal sensors that might alert to the pressure of tires on the garage floor, he employed a set of high-tech sound-absorbing wheel covers he had prepared earlier, designed to mute any noise and prevent the activation of any pressure, sensitive alarm. With precision and care, he maneuvered the car out of its spot the silent electric engine, a perfect accomplice to his stealthy escape. Once safely away from the compound, he removed the wheel covers, discarded his disguise, and drove off into the night. The first of the CO's challenges met with a blend of old-school cunning and modern technological savvy. As dawn painted the sky, the master thief rode back to the affluent neighborhood on the stolen high-tech electric car its silent engine a stark contrast to the traditional gas-powered sedan. The CO, an early riser, was sipping his morning espresso, overlooking his estate through the panoramic windows of his smart home. Good morning, Mr. CO, 
the thief called up to him, a grin in his voice. I've returned your prized possession, and you might want to check on your security team. They've had quite the night. The CO couldn't suppress a chuckle, despite himself. Well played this time, he conceded. But don't think you'll be so lucky again. Remember, if you try to steal from me, I'll treat you like any other criminal. That night, the CEO's wife secured her biometrically locked safe with their most valuable possessions, including a digitally authenticated wedding ring. The CEO, confident in his state-of-the-art security system, declared, All entrances are sealed and monitored. I'll be watching. Any attempt through unconventional means will be met with resistance. Undeterred, the master thief had prepared an audacious plan. He accessed a high-resolution 3D printer and created a lifelike dummy, complete with thermal signatures to fool infrared sensors. He dressed it in dark clothes and strapped it to his back. Approaching the CO's mansion, he used a drone to carry the dummy up to the bedroom window, mimicking an intruder galing the building. The moment the dummy's head came into view, the CEO, who was lying in wait with a non-lethal defense weapon, took aim and fired, hitting the dummy. Quickly, the thief dropped the dummy and concealed himself, watching as the CEO, convinced of his success, dragged the intruder out to bury the evidence and avoid a scandal. Seizing the moment, the thief, equipped with night vision goggles, slipped inside the mansion. He found the safe, already familiar with its make and model, and used a compact, sophisticated device to bypass the biometric lock. Inside, he found the digital certificate for the wedding ring, along with other valuable. With a digital whisper, he transferred the certificate to his encrypted storage device, effectively stealing the ring without ever touching it. He then made his escape, leaving no trace of his physical presence, just the lingering question of how he'd managed to outsmart the most advanced security measures. The day after successfully duping the CEO and his wife, the master thief couldn't suppress his grin as he presented the digital certificate of the wedding ring and a fabricated receipt for the purchase of an identical luxury bedsheet. Are you some kind of digital wizard? the CEO exclaimed, baffled. How did you escape from the high security vault? I thought I locked you in. I wasn't the one you caught, the thief chuckled, explaining his ingenious use of a decoy and how he outsmarted the estate security system. The CEO had to admit, albeit reluctantly, that he was dealing with a master of modern-day thievery. But you're not done yet, the CEO reminded him. There's still one challenge left. Fail, and all your efforts were for naught. Unfazed, the thief simply smiled and waited for nightfall. Equipped with a high-tech drone, a portable projector, and an app-controlled sound system, he approached the local tech museum, which was hosting an exhibit on the evolution of communication, from ancient tablets to the latest in virtual reality. As midnight approached, the thief set his plan into motion outside the museum. He used the drone to cast lifelike holograms around the building, simulating eerie figures collecting ancient relics. Simultaneously, the sound system played a harrowing message, mimicking an apocalyptic warning. Attention, citizens, the digital end is near. The cloud is collapsing. To save your online selves, Follow me to the server room sanctuary. I am the gatekeeper of the digital realm. The message reverberated through the town's smart devices, causing a stir among the residents. The museum curator and a tech-savvy security guard, intrigued and slightly panicked by the unfolding scenario, rushed to investigate. Seeing the holograms and hearing the gatekeeper's message, they debated their next move. Should we take this chance to secure our digital legacy? The curator whispered, half believing the ruse. 
Let's do it. The protocol says you first, the guard replied, caught up in the urgency. At the museum's server room, the thief had set up a large tech-branded storage container, ostensibly to transport them to the cloud sanctuary. The curator, driven by a blend of fear and curiosity, climbed in first, followed by the guard. Quickly, the thief sealed the container, softly chuckling. Off you go, through the data stream. He then wheeled the container through the museum, narrating their fantastical journey through digital landscapes, until reaching a small, secluded office where he left the container amidst the hum of servers and blinking light. Welcome to the cloud, he announced, locking the door behind him. As he disappeared into the night, leaving his bewildered captives to eventually untangle themselves from the web of deception, the master thief couldn't help but marvel at the ease with which the digital age had lent itself to his craft. The next morning, with the air of a man who had outsmarted the world, the master thief returned to the CEO's ultramodern skyscraper. I've completed your third challenge, he proudly announced, explaining how he had convinced the museum curator and security guard that they were being transported to a digital haven, only to leave them locked in a server room, believing they had ascended to the cloud. Where are they now? the CEO demanded, skepticism lacing his voice. In your building's drone landing facility, in a high-security storage container, Thinking they're safeguarding their digital afterlives, the thief revealed with a smirk. Incredulous, the CEO ascended to the rooftop where, indeed, he found the curator and guard, cramped but unharmed, amidst buzzing drones and blinking server light. After freeing them from their misguided notion of digital salvation, the CEO faced the master thief. You're a master of deception. A digital age arch thief, he conceded, respect mingling with resignation. You've won this game, but heed my warning. Leave this city and don't let your shadow cross my path again. Another encounter and I'll ensure your talents are put to use behind encrypted barriers you won't be able to breathe. Taking his leave, the master thief bid a final goodbye to the city that had been his grand state. With his legacy cemented in the annals of modern thievery, he disappeared into the digital ether, his whereabouts becoming the stuff of legends in hacker forums and cybersecurity conferences. No one has ever confirmed another sighting of him, but in the online world, whispers of his exploits inspire both caution and the end. Good job, friends. Thank you so much for reading with me. Bye, I'll see you next time.